Yeah. You ready? Yeah. yeah. That is the percentage of women I've slept with that are attractive. Boom! Take that, ladies who share their body with me. Rubes. <laughs> I used to work at Delta Airlines before I did comedy. That's a tough job. I worked in reservations. People get confused by time zones. We had a flight left since I eight. Got to Nashville at 7.54 a.m. There'd always be a guy like, all right, buddy, you're telling me this flight leaves at 8 and gets in at 7.54. Are you telling me this plane's going back in time? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm telling you, Doc Brown. Delta Airlines has invented a special new time travel program. So pack your duffel bag full of Mountain Dew, socks, and skull. Let's go. <laughs> And they get confused by the flights to go out west. We had a flight left since I eight, got to Denver at nine. On the way back, the flight left at nine, got back at one. They'd be like, all right, you tell me it takes an hour to get there, but four on the way back. All right, bear with me, sir. Have you ever heard of a wormhole? It is a rip of the space <laughs> of the vortex. You're just gonna get your sky miles. Woo! Sky miles, my favorite cat. Sometimes I think I'm going crazy. I think I need to go to therapy, but I'm also broke. They have a thing called sliding scale therapy. If you don't know, you pay based on your income. But I don't want to admit two embarrassing things in one phone call. I don't want to be like, hey, I'm crazy and I'm poor. Oh, God, I'm crazy poor. Help me. You're the receptionist. All right. I have a college degree. I have a degree in geography, which makes me a dumbass. Yeah. Nobody told me the world's already mapped out. Oh, snap. I should have looked at a globe. I should have had that in the guidance counselor's office. Look at it. When I went to college, like the night class, because it was three hours and you were done for a whole week. Sometimes you got out a half hour early, even better, less learning. Problem is, old people take those classes and they love to ask questions at the end of class. We're about to get out, they're like, ooh, uh, I don't understand. But hey, old man, here's where I understand your life plan got off track and now you're monkeying up the works of the rest of us, okay? We all want to go get high in the parking lot. My parents are paying for this. Let's go. You should have got that girl pregnant when you were 17. Ain't my fault. Uh, I used to be a substitute school teacher. And uh, the kids are very anti-smoking. They'd be like, Mr. Wait, are you a smoker? I'd be like, no. They'd be like, why do you smell like a bowling alley then? Because I'm a bowler, damn it, back off. My skin itches, I need a cigarette, I need you kids. <laughs> I'd stick off campus and smoke because that's when the kids see me smoking like, Mr. Waite, you're going to die from smoking. I'd be like, no, more like drinking. Now scurry along. <laughs> Here's something. If you own a snake, you're a tool. Yes, it's true. Snakes are creepy and don't do anything, all right? Buy a painting of a snake, it does the same thing. Nothing. Equally as creepy. <laughs> you ever go over somebody's house and say, hey buddy, you want to see my snake? No! <laughs> it's over here in the tank. Oh, that kind of snake. Still no. <laughs> Guys, don't get fooled into going to a bed and breakfast. They're not romantic unless you have a fetish for hooking up in your grandma's house, okay? <laughs> There's a bunch of quilts and rocking chairs It's gonna kill your boner, all right? It's a graveyard full of boners in there. The floors are all creaky. It's run by ex-hippies. It's the worst. It's not a regular hotel. You can't go wild in there. You gotta make eye contact with somebody that's making your eggs in the morning. Shh. My fault. I don't know. When I was in uh, third grade, I used to fall out of my chair all the time, so my teacher took my chair away. And it was all because I had a condition known as ants in my pants. And that condition's more of a party in my pants now. Hey! I'm... 
Here's something I think we should agree upon. People that have sweaty hands need to stop shaking people's hands, right? I'm sorry your hand's dumb, but it is, all right? Sweat is supposed to come out of your armpit, not your hand, grossy, okay? Somehow you evolved wrong. People used to be monkeys. What sort of monkey needs a sweaty hand to climb a tree? Zero monkey. That's the answer to that. But don't get uptight. You know who you are. And if you don't, go home, put a piece of paper out, and slap your hand on it. And if it leaves a big wet hand turkey, fist pounds the rest of your life. <laughs> Nothing will ruin your day faster. You shake some dude's hand. You're like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh. Hey, thanks a lot. Y'all been tremendous. Thank you.